Sweet. Now, actually, there are 12 learning points. Make poison. Apply poison. Damn it. What's up? Teach me. Teach me how to make poisons. Basically, poison is no different than a regular healing potion. You need a recipe, the ingredients, and an alchemist's bench. Dump it all together and stir well. When it becomes a sticky substance, you are finished. Damn. I'm one point short of making that. Now, in the past, I noticed that the make poison ability was actually glitched, where uh, even after being taught the... Um, even after being taught how to do it, uh, you you would not actually get the skill. It was just a it was a programming error. It seems to have been patched out. Damn it! What's up? Now he does have recipe for poisons. A poison ladder. Now it seems to be the only poison available. I don't think we have any such things, because those only come from a unique type of lurker. Yeah. So, we're not going to have that for a while. Now, this guy's actually trying to get to bed, if you can believe it. It's kind of a weird glitch where he just can't find his way off the bench. I am Sancho. I can't use any more guards, and you don't look like a slave. So what do you want? Do you have work for me? I'm already paying enough people to stand around doing nothing. But if you want real work, then I've got something for you. What do you have for me to do? I have not had a word from our tunnel in Largo for ages. Fabio's gold deliveries have not arrived. Something is not right. Go to Largo, take a look around. Do you have anything else for me to do? Hmm. Yes, actually. I am worried about my men. Being that close to gold will make anyone weak eventually. So talk to them, and keep your ears open. If anyone acts suspicious, then tell me. Eusebio is acting suspicious. Eusebio is a bum. He chops up grass and distills booze. Maybe he's guzzled too much of his own stuff. Whatever. Leave him alone. We need him. Fair enough. Where is Lago? Lago is northeast of here. It's just a couple of huts on the coast. You couldn't even call it a tiny village, but at least they have a tunnel there. And I'm not getting any more gold from there, damn it all! Damn it all. Well, we'll have to look into that then. Welcome to Banirai. I bet you haven't come to break your back working, right? Well now. Friend, this city is a treasure chest, albeit a well-guarded one. If you want to chat about gold for a while, bring me some first. Let's have a little chat. Fine. There are basically three ways to get your hands on the gold. Either you swing a pickaxe, you go up against everybody at once, or you use stealth. What exactly do you mean by stealth? You must have nimble fingers. And you had better wait until everyone's asleep. I can show you how to get to the chests, but it'll cost you. What if I want to take on everyone at once? You're a strong fellow, and I'm no wimp myself. I also know a few slaves who would surely fight with us, but you should be well prepared. So look around for a while and get an overview. So interesting that Lucar does not seem to hold any loyalty to the Hashishin, really. Even though he seems to be one, he's actually, uh, he's just in it for the money. So he would have no trouble, uh, he would have no uh, complaints about raising this whole city to the ground just to get his money. And we could report him to Sancho, but I don't think we're gonna do that. What if I want to swing a pickaxe? Then you're a greater idiot than I thought. <laughs> because first, you need to earn access to the tunnels. But hey, if that's what you want, I've still got a pickaxe I could sell you. What's your job here? I started out just like you. However, that was a long time ago. I toured the arenas for a while, but that wasn't really my cup of tea. Now, I'm standing guard here. It may not be very lucrative, but I know a lot about what's going on. 
Show me your goods. And he does mean it. He can sell you a pickaxe and nothing else. And, uh, of course, he does have more thievery skills if you seek those. Seems to be a thief in almost every village. Now, this is, uh, where things get a little annoying. I feel like I have a memory of this whole segment not really working right. When you come up here, this guy standing guard here will, will accuse you of just being here to steal from them. And he will tell you to go work for Sancho. And basically, he gives you two days to get your reputation to 75 here. And obviously that means you can't really rest, otherwise he will accuse you of just being a layabout um, sort of low life. And uh, I feel like in my memory, it was like there was a point where for some reason I couldn't actually finish the quest in order to make sure that he never went hostile, but I can't really remember what my problem was, so it might not actually be something that uh, troubles us this time around. Hey you, where do you think you're going? Well, I thought I'd take a look around. Yeah, I know. But you aren't fooling me. You're here because you're hot for some quick gold. They have a mine in Benarai. There must be something there I can get my hands on, right? But you won't set foot in the tunnels, got it? In any case, not until you make yourself useful first. Let me tell you, I don't like you. So I'm going to keep an eye on you. Go to Sancho and let him give you work. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Otherwise I'll have to assume that you're only here to steal the gold. And I wouldn't want to be in your shoes then. So you'd better hurry up. I'm looking for artifacts. Really? I hear the orcs are looking for those. You don't look like an orc. Come on. Are there artifacts here or not? No. You're in the wrong place. Maybe you should go to Bensala. Oh no, I forgot. They already plundered everything there as well. Looks like there's only the south left for you, son of many steps. I really don't like this guy. What are you doing here? I'm guarding the gold and making sure every passing stranger doesn't start digging. The only thing that matters to you is that I'm guarding the gold. Got it? Whatever. So I was wrong. It gives you three days. And I also didn't mention that uh, the teleporter stone is right on these barrels here. Curse it. What do you want? So yeah, we could report Lucar, but I don't really want to. Now there aren't any more NPCs here. I mean, well, that was a lie. There's one over there, and there's a, uh, a dude over here. You seem rather... Emaciated? Well, uh, yes. My mates and I, we've been toiling in the tunnels for weeks. I'm at the end of my rope, stranger. But that's how it is. Some people have swords, and others do the digging. Yes, I'm afraid that's how life works sometimes. But hey, you seem uh, pretty ripped for all your uh, efforts. You could probably just take on this whole place yourself. Don't worry, your liberation will come someday. Hopefully you won't be dead by then. So Lago is right over here. More jackals along the way. Gonna try to ignore them. Fuck it, we'll kill them. And Wapadoosh. So it doesn't take long to get here, you just kinda have to go across this hill here. And it's kinda hard to see where it is right away, so if you're not cautious you can run right past it. Um, the trees are sort of obscuring the way, but as Sancho said, it's not a very large area. There's a couple of brick huts, a tent, and it's just kind of in this little inlet on the uh, water here. 
And here's a fellow that I've been preparing for for a long time. Maybe. You dirty thief! So that's what I mean. You can actually fail pickpocketing even if you have the skill required to attempt it. Wow, this guy's weak. Yoink. Banana. Well, we're gonna have to wait for him to get back up again then. First things first, now that we're here. Oh geez, these guys are not happy with me. They're kind of pissed off everybody, it seems. First things first though, we've got to find the teleporter stone, which is right in this pile of trash over here. You'll notice a lot of swamp weed growing around here. You can just help yourself. No one gives a shit if you take it. That's kind of the uh, sole area of commerce here. The sole economy. And it's kind of strange that they're just allowing me to help myself. Hey, you! What are you doing sneaking around? Oh, nothing. Now, hopefully, once we get back to 75% reputation here, these guys won't all be orange. But even if they are, it's not really a big deal. There's nothing in particular that we need to be on their friendly terms for. So where'd this guy get to? Oh, he's all the way down here. How's business? Gentle greetings, my friend. How can Sibonara help you? The knowing one. The finder among seekers. Everything all right? Everything is fine. The sun is warm and the sand is dry. Life could not be better. Do you want to buy? Good old Sibba has all sorts of things to offer. What a strange fellow. Have you been smoking something? Don't say things like that. Consider it consciousness expanding meditation. You would not believe how everything becomes so simple all at once. The significance of small in the large, the large in the small. Have you? Yes. Hmm. Do you want some? Oh, it is really good stuff, oh world twisting friend. <laughs> I saw a boatyard outside this guy's of your funny. house. Do you also build boats? No, no, no. That has become much too taxing for me. I prefer to inhale a bit of weed and build in my head. Recently, I was so stoned, I dreamed of a really ingenious boat. I had to draw it right away. Can I have the drawing? Hey, man. Huh. That's my invention. I'm not going to just... Give it away. Can I convince you somehow? Hmm. I might have an idea. Bring me five furs from the White Wolves. I think they have those in Nordmar. Hmm. You're joking, right? Hmm. Furs? In the desert? And then from Nordmar? Sure, friend. You have no idea. <laughs> have you ever stretched out naked? on a fur and had a little smoke. You really have to try it. It's uh, like flying. I've tried it with lots of different furs. I'm still missing those from white wolves. Oh, do we have a deal? Well, there's I'm a reason I've been the hoarding them for so, so long. You better give me the drawing now. Hey, relax. Here, have a smoke. Old Sibor keeps his promises. Trust me, oh son of distrustfulness. I have your furs. Thanks, oh glorious hero of the long road. Conqueror of the rending beasts of the north. The plans. Don't try sucking up. Is it working? No. Eh, it was worth a try. Here is the drawing. I have no idea what I drew there. As I mentioned, I was so stoned. <laughs> you weirdo. What's going on in Lago? 
Since Rasul has been here, weed has been growing everywhere. Otherwise, talk to Fabio. But be careful with him. He's really uptight. You dirty thief! Damn it. There's open I could do at that time. Awfully aggressive fellow for such a peace oriented man. And I got the I got the fucking furs back. Excellent. Oh well. No big deal. So he gave us a blueprint. A blueprint for a boat. I don't believe it's in here. I think it's just in our inventory. Yeah. And if you look closely at the uh, little icon there, it does not look anything like a boat. But uh, that's no real matter. And what did we need this for again? Oh yes, the boat builder. I think you just need a little more weed, my friend. You'll be fine. And wouldn't you know what I've got for you, buddy? Here, I've got something for you. By the long beard of Inos, you brought me a regular blueprint. Where did you get that? Uh, wait. You don't want to know. Let's <laughs> just say this will truly be a dreamboat. Sweet. That's a fair bit of gold, but there was quite a convoluted effort just to get that. No matter. Uh, Lago is the uh, swamp weed icon. I'm going to miss Martana a little bit. But we'll be back there again someday. Tell you what, another thing I like about Varant is this frame rate is generally higher here. I don't think there's, there's not quite as much foliage to really screw everything up. What do you want here? Have you lost your way? Only slaves or raiding nomads will come here, and you don't look at all like a slave. I don't really look much like a nomad either, do I? Sancho sent me. Did he now? And what does the bloated swine want? He wants to know where his gold is. Have you had a look inside the tunnel? What happened? The nomads have taken all the slaves. And without any slaves, there won't be any gold. Hmm. I will let him know. Yes, do that. If he wants his gold, let him swing a pickaxe himself. And you? What are you doing in these backwaters? Me? I'm the boss here. All right, my boys may not really be the cream of the crop. I have a few guards, an orc, and a gladiator who is always stoned. But damn it, we grow the best swamp weed in the entire desert. And I have a gardener. Does Zubin have a gardener? Or King Robar? I don't think so. I get it. How are things? We've been assaulted. How do you think things are? Calm once more? Yes, but it's a treacherous calm. The nomads were led by Shakyor, and I bet he is still somewhere in the vicinity. What do you know about this Shakyor fellow? The slaves call him the Lion. Some claim he isn't even human, but a man-beast, a druid. And what do you believe? I have seen him fight, and I say he's a raider. Yes, he had a lion by his side, but that doesn't make him invincible. What should we do about Shakyor? As long as he's nearby, we won't get a good night's sleep. He needs to disappear, preferably for good. Have you got something like an arena? Sure, we dug a pit just for that. If you want to fight, come talk to me. I think we'll do that in just a moment, but uh, let's look into this Shakyor fellow. See, he's said to be in the area still. Wouldn't you know it? If you just took a look out your window, you'd almost see him. And here's his lion, quite friendly, so don't have to worry about him. A little kitty cat. Behold, the north wind brings us a warrior. I am Shakyor the lion. Come and drink a sip of water with me. Awfully friendly to me, considering you never met me. I would figure the nomads would be a little suspicious of strangers in these parts. Why are you called lion? Because I share his power. It was entrusted to me long ago. The power of the lion? His stone. I bear the stone of the lion. It is one of the ancient druid stones. 
Are you a druid then? Tell me more. A druid? I am a hunter of the desert. I once received the stone from one who was wiser than I, and since I have carried it, the power of the lion has been with me, but was only loaned to me. I will pass it on when the time comes. I see. What are you doing here? We have raided Lago and freed all of the slaves from the tunnel. We? You and your lions? And my brothers. They will guide the free slaves deep into the desert. I have remained behind, because my battle is not yet over. And when will your battle be over? When the whole land is free from slavery. So, uh, he doesn't make the offer of giving you the uh, Druid Stone of the Lion. However, you can get it from him by conquering Lago. And I don't think... I don't know if there's a way you can get him to help you with it. I feel like I remember that being an option, but I don't remember how to instigate that. Anyway, that's as far as that goes. If you, you can pickpocket him, I don't know if you can get his druid stone that way, though. And uh, Sibur is still just chilling down there. I don't think he's ever really going to come inside. Now, over here is the um, mining tunnel. A lot of jackals around it. But uh, it's still got some gold veins. So it's worth checking out to try and... Uh, line your pockets a little bit more. Nothing fancy there. And there's also some iron. So I'm just gonna mine this really quick and I will see you guys in just a moment. Alright, well, while we're... oh jeez. While we're around here, oh my god, why is this happening? Seriously? While we're around here, I say we uh, just have a chat with a few people. Who are you? An orc. What are you doing here? The great temple in Ben Sala has been raided. The artifacts were stolen. Dalek ordered me to find the artifacts. What? You think there are artifacts here in Lago? No, Mora. But there's a man here who might know something about them. Who would that be? Fabio has a Mora locked up. If he knows anything, he will tell us. You know a thing or two about fighting, don't you? Enough so that I can teach you a little, Mora. Well, cheers for that, but I don't really need those lessons. I'll just have a couple of these. Thank you very much. And who are you? Mamuk. What? What is it? Interesting. That's a new dialogue option. What are you doing here? As little as possible. Why would I want to do anything? Man, there's swamp weed growing everywhere here. It's a dream come true. You appear somehow pensive. Anything amiss? Uh, nice little reefer. What? That would fit the bill. You want to smoke trees? No, no, just something to enjoy. Well, here's one of these. Thanks. Yep, go ahead and wave that in front of your face. See you soon, my two-faced generous friend. Two-faced? Why do you look at me so eagerly again? Ah, you want another? Ah, yay, yay. So this is all new to me. This must have been the recent... Uh content mod update. You really frighten me. Why do you know what I want to say? Alright, well, so much for that. I doubt I can pick his pocket, so I don't think I'm gonna bother. If I piss him off here, I'll have to lure him all the way out of town before I can avoid trouble. Rasul. What are you growing here? Swamp weed, stranger. Pure, fine swamp weed. Here, take a sample. I also sell packages. That stuff is in demand, so do not pass up a chance to take some with you. Anybody who has had a taste will pay a fortune for it. I thought swamp weed grew in swamps. Yeah, everybody thinks that. 
But take a look around. It grows faster than I can smoke it. The conditions are ideal. Lots of sun, fresh breezes. That makes the pollen unbelievably fine. I manage a harvest every couple of weeks. That is, if the blood flies or the nomads do not get into it. So, that's just kind of interesting, because obviously up until now, swamp weed has always grown in swamps, as far as we know. It was that way in the colony, it was that way on Carinus, and uh, only now that we've shown up here do they say that it actually grows a lot better, um, kind of along the sandy coast here. And, I mean, it does seem to be a very lush area, but... I mean, as far as uh, Varent is concerned, well, you can hardly call this a swamp. So, it's interesting, like, it almost seems like it was another case where it's just convenient for Piranobites to have it grow here as a, um, j just to help justify some sort of economy for this small location here. Blood flies like swamp weed? Hey. Apparently the damn things know what is good. They have already screwed up a couple of my harvests. You know quite a bit about plants. Not just that. I also know quite a bit about potions. I used to live in Benarai. Eusebio taught me a lot. What do you know about the nomads? Those bombs. They freed the slaves and stole my harvest. I mean, sure. I can understand that, but a couple of them trampled right through my plants. Bums. Why didn't they free you? Free me? And who would take care of the plants if I were not here? No, I am not going anywhere. There is enough here for me to do. So you can notice he seems to be a slave. He's dressed like one. He doesn't have the neck collar, but he does have the arm braces. And um, he also talks like one, like... Uh, I mean, we seem to interpret him as one, but at the same time, he seems like he would be here voluntarily anyway, so he's clearly a Hashishan, so if he is a slave, it's... you kind of wonder... I mean, maybe he's not a Hashishan, but he is clearly a um, desert citizen or something, but he's not a nomad, because the nomads all talk in a very American way. They have all have American accents, very white voices, but... Another interesting thing to note is that even though we've pissed off everyone else here in town, his name is actually in, you know, sort of off-white still, so he's actually very neutral towards me. And uh, that's kind of important because actually if you do the liberation for this town, he, I don't know if he fights on your side, but he does not fight on their side and he does not run away once a, a village is freed. He obviously is singularly intent on uh, keeping up his little grove here. Maybe I should take care of the blood flies for you. Oh man, I was afraid to ask. But you know what? I will cough up a package of original Lago swamp weed. If you drive the beasts off, hey, somebody who works for me ought to enjoy himself. <laughs> Here, light up. And take your time. The beasts will not fly off by themselves, unfortunately. Show me your goods. And, oh, wow, he actually sells them now. That's pretty crazy. I don't think he needs to, though. So as far as I know, there are not more than uh, three occasions where you can uh, do something with these packages. It's not like you can use them yourself. Can't do anything of that sort. But they do have a value in uh, completing several quests. And as far as I know, there's only three, so I guess if you never manage to obtain uh, the three packages any other way... I'll kind of address that in a little bit, but uh, I guess the modders just wanted you to have some way to purchase them in order to complete the quests anyway. Because in the vanilla game, you could not buy them at all. So uh, there were only two ways to obtain them originally. One was to do his quest to take out the blood flies, the other one was to complete the arena here. And there were originally three, um, three people who would ask for them, or three ways you could use them. And obviously there were only two, so you had to choose your options carefully. 
And uh, as it turns out, and I think someone clarified, when I went to that um, island with, uh, what was his name, Sea Bear John or something, the pirates in that little hut there, I think someone said that that, even in the vanilla game, that package of weed was still there. But obviously the pirates themselves were not. Now, I can't remember if that's true, if they really did say that. Um, maybe I'll, at some point I'll go back to the uh, video where I said that and uh, see if that's exactly what they said. But at any rate, this now gives you more options in case you don't end up completing all the... Uh, all the, I don't, I, yeah, you don't end up completing the quest to get the uh, packages otherwise. I want to fight in the arena. Fine. You can fight against Grubas or Mamuk. Then I want to... No, it doesn't work that way. You will take on Mamuk first. After that, you get to face Grubas. Let me fight against Mamuk. Fine. Be my guest. But I wonder whether Mamuk is even up to it. Ever since Rasul started growing that weed... He's been permanently stoned. Oh, well, a few good wax can't hurt him. Do your best to drag him to the arena. I shall do my best. First to drink. <laughs> 